Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna find out how we did in this last arena. I did not go for any champions. I was just working on building up my battle chip stash, but I did put up enough that I should have gotten that crystal. So let's find out. All right, so we got that one. All right, keep going. And yes, we ended up getting the crystal. I ranked 46. So let's take a look at that leaderboard first. Now, in this particular arena, and I don't know if this is a change going forward, um, but in this particular arena, the top 400 get the crystal. Now, it has been 150 for quite a long time, as long as I can remember. Uh, but 400 means that we will not have our moment of silence because we won't know who missed it. We only get a chance to look at the top uh, 200 on this particular one here. So, here we go. You can see the score I put up. Uh, let's keep going here. See if I see anyone that I recognize. Uh, we weren't really happy, many of us, to see that this was a crystal. Uh, I was not about to grind for the crystal. Uh, I was set to grind when I thought it was a selector. Then I was going to go ahead and, and put up a score for both arenas. Uh, Dakish, congratulations. But during the stream, oh, Big Blue, congratulations. Uh, you already sent me a message, so I know uh, how that turned out. But congratulations, man, on getting the crystal. Uh, Dr. Doob, congratulations. Uh, but during the stream, we found out that uh, first of all, that it was not a selector. And so I was like, well, no, I'm not going for that crystal. It's a random crystal. And I have all but three of the champions in that crystal. So it wasn't worth going for. Then I found out that the top 400, not the top 150, were going to be getting it. Um, Black Knight, congratulations, man. Uh, when I found out that it was the top 400, I said to myself, well... May as well go ahead and grind my battle chips in the five star featured and maybe pick up that crystal. Uh, but I wasn't going to go hard in this arena or anything like that. Uh, basically, what I did was I just shifted the arena that I normally will grind out my battle chips. So the four star featured, usually, you know, second round. I don't really go for the uh, dupe necessarily, but I will grind out my battle chips. And if I pick up the dupe, great. And I usually do. Um, but this time I said, well, I'll just switch over and do that same thing in the five star featured arena. So there was no difference, just a different arena. All right. So that's all of the folks that we can see anyway that have this champion. Uh, I love the change. I don't know if it's a permanent one going forward, uh, but it will be the end of the little piece that I do with the moment of silence because we won't know who didn't get the champion uh, since we can only see the top 200. And uh, if they make it so that the top 400 get the champion, then uh, we'll only see the top 200 that got the champion. All right, so here we go, Invisible Woman. And let's take a look at this arena. Uh, give some shout outs to anyone that uh, we see. Uh, and also in this arena, everyone that you see on this uh, leaderboard here got the champion. Uh, this one, I believe, is the top 800. All right, so uh, everyone here, I'm trying to see. Uh, nope, nope, nope. In fact, I'm not sure who all went for her. Uh, I think Invisible Woman is underrated. 
My Invisible Woman as a five star. Uh, I took her to rank four and was even thinking of taking her to rank five. Sokies, congratulations, man, on that Invisible Woman. Miss Sexy. Um, but she is a little bit challenging to play. You have to, uh, to maximize her damage, you have to play a no touch style. You cannot take any blocked hits. You cannot do any shallow evades where you might've gotten hit. Nothing like that because, uh, even if you don't get hit, you know, contact, like um, uh, if you took a blocked hit, parry, anything like that, it's going to take her out of that invisibility mode and you're going to start right on over. It'll clear all of her vulnerability stacks. So she won't do uh, as much damage uh, as she could. So um, I have a video on that if you guys are curious. Uh, and want to uh, learn a little bit more about her. All right. So lastly, we'll go with this one and uh, check out who got this champion. Uh, this is the uh, four-star 2014 uh, crystal. Uh, we got the five-star one, and I was not about to go for the four-star one at all. Uh, but I could have. I could have done this one and grinded out my battle chips instead of doing the five-star one. But, you know, the five-star one at least has a chance to give me a new champion, however unlikely that is. So I had to uh, do it in that particular arena. All right. So I'm not seeing. In fact, I don't really know who all was even going for this particular one. Uh, didn't seem like it would be really sought after. You know, it is a crystal. It is random. Uh, Devault, congratulations. Um, I believe he used to be in our uh, alliance. Um, and I saw that you also got the crystal, the five-star crystal. Uh, congratulations on that as well. All right. Let's see. Uh, getting down to the wire here. And... Of course, everyone here got the champion, so we won't know who all missed. All right. Some of these names, man. You guys be cracking me up with these names. Some of them I will not be reading out. All right. And a little more, a little more, a little more. And that's it. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.